Thank you, Jake. Well, today several schools operated on a delay or close for the day because of the wintry mix in parts of the viewing area. Well, we wanted to know how the decision is made to make changes to school hours when severe weather moves in. Channel 3's Tim Pham explains why Hamilton County Schools decided to start late today. Some of you woke up to a light dusting while others didn't see any snow at all. It's why some school districts decided to run on a two hour delay because they say they didn't want to take any chances when it comes to student safety. On Signal Mountain, people woke up to a winter wonderland. It wasn't a lot, but it was enough for officials to delay school. Some people get it. They go, oh, it must be Signal or Lookout. And some people just think, why is this happening? For the majority of the county, this was their question. Why is school delayed? Hamilton County School says the threat of slippery road conditions in higher elevations was the main reason why. We might be able to get 90% of the kids to school safely and, and have no problem, but you know, if there's a chance that just one bus could have a problem and we could have an accident that would involve a child, then we're not going to take that chance. Transportation officials travel to known trouble spots along bus routes and district officials consult with the National Weather Service to make a decision that's safe for every family across the county. The Quinn family thinks they made the right call. When I first moved here, I really didn't understand a lot of the delays and closings. But last night, I was actually pretty happy because ice, you can't do anything with ice. It's just not worth risking anybody's safety. Quinn admits operating on a delay can be an inconvenience for some families, but she says it's just not worth the risk. Certainly our district has been through a lot. We've had some pretty serious issues with transportation. So erring on the side of caution, I think, is always the best way to go. The good news, eight snow days are built into the school year and no makeup days are required. Quinn's son was okay with the decision, too. Like many other students, he was happy to have the extra time. I was like, yes. <laughs> Why? Because uh, I get to play video games. If you're ever unsure of the status of school, we continuously update the school closing and delays page inside the WRCB app 24 hours a day. Reporting on Signal Mountain, I'm Tim Pham, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. And here's what we know so far about closings and delays for tomorrow. Whitfield County Schools and Dalton City Schools will be closed on Tuesday. Murray, Fannin and Dade County Schools will be running two hours late. Chattooga County is going to run three hours late tomorrow. We'll keep you up to date on any closings and delays on air and online and inside the WRCB app.